Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here at Gresham High School. Super windy today, super cold. So we're underneath the grandstands working on the uh, way the ball throws into the net. So I think what we'll do We'll work through some uh, crossover throws, and I think what we'll do is start off with a light ball, and then we're going to move up to the 1K, okay. something that's heavy. It's going to require you to have a much longer pull, and that will slow down your arm a little bit, but it will hopefully make you think about being longer through the, th through the throwing process. Yeah, you're going to try and you know, have the right sequence, right? But the idea is long pull, throw from the hip and the armpit, don't throw it like a baseball. Okay. I'm gonna start off with just a cross and have you guys hit it from right there, all right? So, yeah, so rock back and jump off your left foot off that cone. Yeah, I think the shoulders are starting to pitch uh, too extreme. All right, so we'll have you guys just alternate. Whoever throws, they give the ball to the last person. You guys just alternate through. Okay. Nice throw. That's a good start. And Grant, hand that one off to Ryan. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you on this one. Try and keep your right arm up through the process. Okay, so I'll cross with you. Feel the difference? Yeah. Arms got to stay up there through that entire throwing process. Good. And now, okay. with my throwing arm, you uh -huh. want a little bit bent? Or... No, I want it nice and long, but still, still loose. Okay. Right. So think, think about how can you get the armpit to the sky. So roll that shoulder back, bring this up a little bit. There you go, posture up. There you go. Now as you throw, the arm's just going to stay up here, okay? Yeah, you got to keep that arm up. Otherwise, you feel like things are weighted down, right? Okay, sir. So make it a nice smooth motion. There's still that little pausing going on there. I like that one better. Yeah. Okay, so keep, keep it up. Better. Still a little bit low. Just a, it's still a little bit, yeah. Good, Grant. Looking really good. So we're going to train it out significantly heavier okay so the idea is exaggerate how high the ball is going to be held okay because as soon as you drop it down it's going to feel really heavy we don't want it to feel really heavy we want it to feel like it's light and easy okay so keep that ball up and think about it arm is up in a good takeoff position your body's going to pull it into uh, the net so it's heavier it's, it's going to take a little bit more time to get that thing moving. So, you know, take, take time with it. Take time. You know, don't try and just kill this thing. See how heavy it is? Okay, so we're just going to lift it up a little bit more. That's a 1K, yeah.
So you ready to add some steps? Huh? Yeah. Okay. I think that's I think what we'll do. Yeah, I think all of you guys all look much better. Okay, so I think... I don't know, we'll see it's a little high, uh, or excuse me, the net is a little low, so if you throw a little high, hopefully you'll hit the, the beam up there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a far enough crossover as you guys add speed. You guys will probably be landing someplace here, deliver your throw, and then just take your steps into the net. If you fall into the net, it'll probably hold you. Well, no, you're, you're a big guy. So let's take a few steps back. I'm thinking a seven step. Um, maybe a seven step. We'll see. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? Little, little steps to bigger steps. Crossover at that cone right there. So think on this one, come through and have the hand exaggerated high, and I want you throwing down into the net, okay? So your target is head level instead of way up there at the top, okay? So you're gonna go from here and throw down here. You want me to actually? Uh -huh. Yeah, at head level, okay? Exaggerate how high it is. Notice how easy this should feel. Okay, keep it high, you're throwing down. Yep, the habit for you is to tilt those shoulders back and that makes the javelin heavier. Okay, Sarah, so on this one, I want you moving a little bit more. So open up that left leg so it's pointed. Yep, so you're gonna run a little bit more and jump a little bit more off that crossover. Still set up that body though. Yeah, I like that. give your shoulders a little bit of a break and I want you guys to focus a little bit more on the float through that crossover okay the idea is the running steps build you up into that crossover that gives you this final sort of setup for the throw and then when you come down it's let's go right it's time to throw so I want you guys to do a little bit more running into this and float through the end we're gonna exaggerate it just with a run and a jump okay it's very similar to like long jumping Run, 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 up. Okay, the idea is I want you to float up in the air a little bit more. And then run out, run out the end. There you go, exactly. Okay, so Sarah, now I want you to start taking the shoulder blades back because I want you to start making it more like a javelin run, okay? So again, jump off that left foot, cycle through, you don't have to have the arms up, but I want the shoulders back. Okay, make it a run. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now I want you that same running motion. Now the arms are up, and you're going to strike through to finish your throw. The speed at which you guys are running, you're going to have to make it even faster when you get through the throw. All right? Don't slow down during the, the striking phase. Accelerate it. Right? But again, make it a run. Float through the top, and then deliver that fake throw.
much better. You hear the difference in the rhythm. You feel it, you're faster. That was awesome. That's good. Okay, so everything looks fantastic. You just gotta keep the arm up. Get the arm up in a, in a good spot so you can take it all the way through. That's good, that's good. So I would say littler steps back here and then kind of build it up. Good. All right. <laughs> Don't come to a stop. Make sure you move through it. Good. Okay. So, do you guys want to give some throws here? Put that 400 gram ball into your hand and start delivering some throws. You guys just look so much better. Uh, I think if you can keep that that form. As long as that arm is up, you're going to be able to deliver right into the net. You should be in good shape. Good. Grant, this really looks so much better. Okay, good setup. Make it a run. Don't turn, don't close yourself off so much. Make it a run. Now nah, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Your left foot's turned in too much. You can't run if it's in too much. Good. Make it a run. Run down the runway. Good. Grant, you're the last one. Nice throw. Man, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Okay. Um... Can you believe the session is over already? It's two o'clock. I know. It's fantastic. You guys, you guys picked up a lot of throws in this short period of time. That's for sure. Okay, so I would say keep your arm up, Ryan. I think the big thing for you is that every single time as you come down from that crossover, the shoulders have a tendency to pitch back. You've got to keep them level. The reason is if that hand goes down at the point where you hit your block, now that energy is now changing direction and it's coming down here. We gotta make sure that it's ready to roll over the top. So that means keep the shoulders level so when you come down to the block, you can take your body and pull the javelin through above, right? If it sits down, it's gonna feel like it's a lot heavier than it's supposed to be. So keep it at a high point and let your body pull the throw and you should feel probably a lot more efficient when you do that. Your crossover looks good, so just keep reinforcing that. But I would say work a little bit more on uh, keeping the hand up. Talk to your coach about it. Have him look for your hand being low. He's, yeah, he's, he, yeah, he's got a good eye for it. So, um, also, yeah. I also practice on the four steps. Of, like, left arm. You can. I, I would. I would say if you do, if you do those four phases of the throw, do it in simulated form. Right. Get, make it a rhythmic movement, so you don't have to think about every part. Right? If you can keep the hand high enough and everything feels like it's moving smoothly, then do what you did today and add a bunch of steps. You were doing, what, a seven step? Yeah, and, seven, it seven. and it looks fantastic. But notice the progression that we did through the entire process. Right, We started from something that was basic and then we built onto it. I think that's one of the best ways to do practice. Okay, so Start with something that's easy, you can get under control, and then start building on it. Okay. Grant, th this was fantastic. You did so much better on this session than I re recall in the last ones. Um, you you just seemed like you're setting up a lot more. It looks like you're putting a lot more energy into the throw. So I would say keep working on your crossover. It needs some work, but use use the knee to drive a little bit and keep the, the feet uh, underneath of your knee. Don't cross and have your feet way out here. Okay, Cross and get the knee. That way the feet aren't kicking through the crossover. Does that make sense? And then as you throw, again, just make sure your posture is up so you can deliver over the top. So right now, your back foot has a tendency to be sideways. And then when you cross, you're here. I want you to cross and be here. Okay? So just keep working through your crossover over and over again. Keep your posture up. Sound good? All right. Sarah, how much time have you had with the javelin in hand? Um, not a ton. Okay. Uh, being sick really kind of yeah. hard. But I, 
we threw like in the field twice this past week. Okay. I would say you need a little bit more time with the javelin in hand and do the bounding. Okay. Remember, it's run, 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 jump. Get yourself set up. Uh, you don't have to throw right away with that, but I would say you definitely need more running on the runway. Okay. And if you if you want, ex exaggerate it. Run, I don't know, 50 meters or something. You know, just get the javelin in your hand and just start running with it so that you feel a lot more comfortable on that running phase. And then at the end of that 50 meters, pop up on that crossover and skip out of the landing. Okay. okay? Um, your, your hip movement looks really good. Your throws look good. I think you just got to... Uh, do more on the approach. Okay. Be ready because season's here and yeah. everything looks so good right now. The stuff to practice is building you into that crossover. Okay. So, okay. Thank you. All right, gang. Thanks for coming out. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until I see you next time, have fun and throw fun.